Hello everybody, and I cannot believe it is already July. It is currently July 1st, and I am so excited to be filming my June favorites for you guys. July is my birthday month, so I'm pretty excited. I actually turned 21 on the 24th, so in 24 more days, I'm gonna be legal to get extremely intoxicated and just roll around on the grounds of downtown LA, which probably isn't good, um, I take that back. I actually have a great selection of items from fashion to accessories. Um, I even have a new perfume that I got, camera lens, like technology, stuff like that. There's a lot of fun stuff in this video, so make sure to stay tuned, and yeah, let's get started. I first want to start off with some fashion items, and these are, um, this is sort of just like a brand favorite in general. The brand's called Stonefeather. I'm gonna link their site below for you guys so you can check them out. I believe it's stonefeatherofficial.com, but if you become a member on their site, I know you get 50% off your order, which is absolutely amazing, but I've been wearing this bomber jacket so much over like the past like two months. I should have probably shared it in my last favorites, but I just sort of blanked on it, and I'm gonna share it in this favorites video, but it looks like this. It's like a neoprene bomber jacket and I love the print on the sleeves it also is on the back and I also love the fact that it's not the entire bomber that's printed it's just like accent pieces such as the back and then the sleeve parts as well it has this really unique um, textile print stone feather does a lot of nature prints on their clothing so they actually have like photographers go out and shoot nature or just textiles with the nature and they actually print it on their clothing which I think is really cool and different this next piece is also from stone feather I picked up one of their t-shirts and I love this shirt because also it has that neoprene quality again but in a t-shirt so it's like a lighter weight neoprene and I love the print and graphic on this t-shirt if you guys can see it it has this amazing like almost mountaintop snowy marbled vibe to it it's very different I styled this a few times throughout the month I wore it outside of my pants but a lot of shirts I've been wearing recently I don't know what it is I've been tucking them in I think it's because um, I'm really loving that 70s vibe that's been going around and I think tucked shirts just sort of bring my aesthetic back to the 70s they have some other really great graphically printed t-shirts on their site overall major fashion favorite for the month was just stone feathers pieces in general I think they're really statement but they're also wearable on a daily basis so Check them out. I feel like lately I've been having a humongous shoe obsession as you guys may have seen in my last haul video. If you didn't see that, check the link below. I didn't actually feature a pair of shoes in that haul video because I knew I wanted to favorite it in this favorites video. And I got um, a new pair of Adidas. They are the Adidas Stan Smith sneakers. Adidas did send these to me, which I want to thank Adidas so much for doing so. But I have been wearing these so much. And honestly, it may not look like I have been because look at how clean I've been able to keep them besides this. But you can tell my wear on these shoes. Like, I have been wearing them so much. They're the perfect white sneaker. I have the Adidas Superstars in white that have the black stripes. But honestly, that black really doesn't make that sneaker a white sneaker. This is what I like to call a white sneaker. And I love I love the bit of green on the back as well. It's just a little pop for the summertime or springtime that I've been loving. And the shoe is extremely comfortable. It's nice, it's bright, it's like white, it's fresh, it's perfect for summer, and I've been wearing it a lot lately. On to a pair of sunglasses, and you guys, these sunglasses, I have been loving. If you follow me on Snapchat, which if you don't, you definitely should. I'll put my little snap code on the screen for you guys, but it's just, I'm Drew Scott. Definitely follow me on there. I got a new pair of sunglasses from Gentle Monsters, and I just want to first of all mention the box they came in. I am an avid lover for packaging, so this box is just absolutely amazing. It's like a leather look embossed box, and inside of it, it came with like this really aesthetically pleasing pinkish salmon color sheet, but it has a gold foil letter on it. Like, Overall, this is just like a really nice little touch. The sunglasses I got came in this case inside of that box, and it's a really nice leather case, and it opens up like that, and inside the sunglasses actually look like this. These are absolutely incredible. I have been loving my Ray-Ban round sunglasses for so long, as you guys know, and these are just like an alternative play on them. Um, I think they look a little, little bit more expensive. They're not as vintage inspired, and I think they're a bit of a modern take on those Ray-Ban sunglasses. And they also do really great collaborations with like opening ceremony and HBA and just like a lot of designer brands they do um, sunglass collaborations with. Another accessory that Lacoste actually gifted me was um, this really nice little card holder and I went to a Lacoste event in LA and I was able to um, get a goodie bag at the end which I didn't know. I had never really been to events before until this month and I actually got a goodie bag. Card holder was in it and I've just been using it throughout the whole entire month. I actually took my cards out just in case so nobody can you know see them or whatever but um, it is like a navy blue leather card holder and it has multiple slots which is something that I like because my acne card holder actually only had one slot on the front and back so I'd have to shove multiple cards in there 
This one actually has multiple different slots, which I like that because I don't like my credit cards or like debit cards scratching against each other. I feel like it peels off that magnetic strip for some reason. So this is just a really nice um, piece. It has eight slots total and then it has a center um, cash holder right here. And I just, I don't know, I love this. You guys, I am dying over this new cologne. I'm a cologne addict, so like I always am purchasing new ones or trying out new ones or just going to the store and spraying new ones on me. But I decided to actually purchase a new one over, I think I got this one about two weeks ago. It's Bleu de Chanel and it's a Eau de Parfum um, cologne. And it smells absolutely incredible. I don't even know how to explain it. It's very musky and masculine, but it's like fresh at the same time. I love it. I feel like I've smelled this in the past and I didn't like it. So I don't know if they reformulated the actual cologne, but when I went into Barney's recently, I smelled it again and I could not leave the store without purchasing it. I sprayed it on my arm and I was in the store shopping for about an hour and a half total with like a few friends and it still lasted and was extremely strong by the end of that. So I just went back downstairs to the very bottom floor and picked this up. A few weeks back, I also decided to just invest in a new camera lens because if you guys know me, I'm a photography like and video fiend. So I had to do so. I actually had saved up enough money, but then I spent it on those St. Laurent boots. I saved up enough money basically to purchase purchase a um, Canon 85mm 1.2 and I believe that lens is almost $2,000 and I decided that when I went to the camera store and tested it out the 1.8 was literally just as comparable to the 1.2 and this was a mere $349 for this lens and it is absolutely amazing so it's the Canon EF 85mm f 1.8 and if you don't know what like 1.8 or 1.2 is is essentially the lower the number um, for the f-stop the more bokeh or depth of field you get in your photo. So typically when you get all the way down to 1.2, that background blur is extremely blurry, which is really nice. But I tested it out with the 1.8 and I did not see much difference. And for like a $1,600 price difference, I was not gonna pay that for like not be being able to realize much of a difference. So instead, you know, I just went and spent it on those St. Laurent boots you guys saw in my last video. So I definitely suggest this one if you're looking for a new lens or you're starting out or something, it's a great universal one. This next favorite of mine is actually kind of random, but I thought I'd just share it with you guys because I love you all and I just want you guys to know I created a business card um, this is, was just um, sort of on the whim I actually went to New York a few months back and I wanted a business card so I designed one just to bring with me just in case you know any business things were a brewing in New York uh, the back of it's really cool the front of it's really cool I'll actually show you it on the camera I just saw the way I designed it and I spent like an hour or two just sort of crafting my own business card and I wanted to share it with you, with you because it's definitely one of my favorite um, pieces that sort of defines me as a brand I got them printed through Vista print Com. This isn't sponsored by Vistaprint or anything, but in case you guys are curious or you want to create your own business card, that's where I found that I can get the cheapest business cards. So I'll link their site below. It's Vistaprint.com. I believe they're out of Canada, um, but they have really affordable prices. So definitely look them up if you're looking for a business card. Of course, I also have a music favorite for you guys this month. So make sure to follow my Spotify playlist. I'll link it in the description box for you below. Every single month, I curate a selection of music that I've been loving. This month, I have so many amazing songs. I've been listening to the Broods album like crazy. Her new album called Conscious has just been absolutely incredible. I've been loving it. Um, there's multiple songs on there. And then I just have a really um, a large selection of just random sort of indie artists that I've also been listening to this month. So make sure to pop on over to my Spotify, give the playlist a follow, and listen to some of the songs I've been loving. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I hope you did enjoy. Those were my favorites over the course of June, and I'd love to know what your guys' favorites were. So leave a comment below. What did you love over the month of June? So give this video a thumbs up, and I'll catch you on my next one. Bye, guys.